Right, okay, I'm going to do a quick review today on This Is Marketing by Seth Godin. This is a book that I've been meaning to read for quite some time and I always found a reason not to do it. Um, I think I just heard so much about Seth Godin and, and it kind of seemed to me that he was quite kind of trendy and fashionable and that tends to sort of put me off to be honest but I kept an open mind and I've become very interested in marketing now in terms of sort of moving my business forward um, and I've got through a few books and, and his is the latest one that I've read. I actually listened to it on, on Audible. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. He narrates it himself. His voice is really good, really characterful. He takes a, bit, a minute or two to get used to because he is quite strange sounding to begin with. But after a while, you realise he's he's really characterful and interesting. And it's really good to have the um, the author narrate their own book as well. I think that I think that makes a good difference to an audio book actually if they're able to do it and they're happy to do it. You, you kind of get that passion there, that 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 interest, which is really good. Um, I won't go on too long because there's so many summaries and reviews online, so many, so many people sort of talk about this book and have written about this book, so I don't want to go over the same kind of ground, but just to say that I really enjoyed it, I think it's really beneficial to anyone who wants to get into marketing and improve their, their business, get themselves out there. I think his message is, is really good, it's really quite encouraging. We're no longer in the age of kind of bombarding people with sales techniques and things like that. People actually want um, trust to be built up between them and, and the people that they follow, the businesses that they follow. And in order to do that, he explains how we need to come up with a good product to begin with, something that's original, something that we care about. Um, we need to be trying to solve people's problems. We need to be flexible and adaptable with that and, and open-minded to change. Um, it's far more important, he says, that we have, say, a 1,000 true fans um, rather than kind of a 100,000 or sort of a million sort of followers who don't really care you know so many people nowadays are very popular on Instagram and things like that but it's almost kind of an illness of our time that people are just kind of popular for the sake of being popular without any real kind of meaningful sort of message or anything that they're, they're going to do to change things for the better so Seth talks about having something to improve um, things for people um, taking your time being patient which i think is a, is a recurring message for all the books the self sort of improvement books uh, self personal development books that i read having patience that you put the time in and, and that things happen over time so you're serving your fans or that you're serving your clients the people who, who you want to help over time the message is maybe adapting but you're sticking with it you're sticking with your marketing you're sticking with your logo you're not getting bored easily and chopping and changing as soon as you do that people just get confused and and you kind of get lost in the the mass of everyone trying to do the same kind of thing so he, he talks about some of the best companies who have just stuck with it over the years and for a long time didn't have much success but eventually that kind of message gets into uh, the psyche um, and the consciousness of people and, and it works so stick stick with your message um, be passionate about it and, and take your time, be patient and he talks about the Grateful Dead and how they were never particularly popular at the time but they stuck with their their true fan base, they kept nurturing them, um, giving them what they wanted and they, over time they're just, you know, they've done really really well because they've served those fans, they, those true fans that they had. So yeah, really really good book, it never gets boring, it's written so well I think, um, really interesting, it feels really creative, it kind of got my creative juices going listening to it which I really like. Um, yeah, really interesting. I'm certainly going to be looking at a lot more stuff uh, from Seth from, from reading this. And yeah, I couldn't recommend it enough. Fantastic book. Not disappointing at all.